Tosh, Kaimien. This afternoon we're going to look at Wapishana possession. There's three different ways in which possession occurs in Wapishana. Naturally, unpossessed nouns are indicated by a final N. Paul Garitan, Paul's book. Mary Oin, Mary's farinha. U Baron, his axe. And that final N shifts the weight towards a syllable that would normally be a final vowel and therefore light syllable. Now it becomes a heavy syllable because the N adding that final consonant gives it extra weight. Garitan, Oin, Ubaron. Naturally, possessed nouns, like a person's body parts, whenever they are unpossessed or talked about in a generic way or distinctness, um, you add an I to the end. Idibai, a nose. Or Aro Idiba, the deer's nose. Idibai, a nose. Kuwai, some news. George Kuwa, George's news just simply becomes Kuwai, some news. And then there are non possessed nouns, such as plants and animals, which generally are not thought to belong to any person. So to distinguish ownership, you must specify my pet, etc. On uza, kuruku. My pet chicken. On uza, kuruku. Here's a list of possessed body parts. Anubai, an arm. Ongaru anub. Anubai, an arm. Ungaru anup, my arm. Ninubai, a tongue. Ongaru ninup, my tongue. Kidibai, a foot. Ongaru kidib. My foot. Idibai, a nose. Ongado idip, my nose. Dakui, a mouth. Indaku, Indaku, his mouth. Denui, a beard. Indenu, his beard. And then here's a list of possessed items. Notice the distinction here. Bari, arrow. Inbari, his arrow. Or unbari. Somara, a bow. Insumaran. His bow, generally unpossessed, now becomes possessed.
însă maran. Canau, a canoe, becomes a canawan, a canawan, his canoe.